happy for us. We are back. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Yes. Work day is over. Yes. We got a, <laughs> another conversation for you. Yes, we do. You see it, see it in the title. Yes. So today's topic is ageism what is a good age difference not ageism in the sense of you know anything else but ages in the sense of relationships so what is a good age difference when you um are in a relationship pretty much oh shoot i feel like you can see through my shirt i'm sorry guys <laughs> this was all day <laughs> jeez yes um of course, if I say 20 years, you're going to go extreme. Wait, huh? 20 years of what? 20 years between the two? See? And then okay, we so... Okay, so fine. You, back, cause, you want to dissect my 20 years? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I want to get my opinion. So, my only thing is that um, it'll be great. The age... The age... Ain't nothing but a number when you're above 30. Okay? So, <laughs> or above 25. Um, but when you're like in your teens and. Like what? 18, your, 19. There are only yes, two teens left. But, and you're like 20, 21, 23, 20. You know, you're still young. You haven't really experienced a lot. So to date someone who's like 50 in your 20s, mm, that's a little. Hmm. Okay, what about 18 years? I'm saying, okay, if it's 20 years and you're like 30, 35, 37, and the person is like 50-something, that's cool because you've experienced your younger years. You've experienced being young and popping, like little kids say. You know, you, you've experienced your life. So, buckling down with somebody in their 50s when you're 35 or whatever, that's cool. But when you're in your 20s and you're with somebody like 40 or 50 that's like whoa buddy you haven't done anything in your life yeah but it doesn't, it doesn't mean they're settling down you i know, know it could just be settling fun down but it's her. like what you really gotta talk about because they still gonna do puberty a little bit i don't know so maybe he or she can teach listen a lot of guys date older women you know because they don't want to deal with y'all foolishness i'm younger than you <laughs> I know, and I'm putting up with so much. Oh, for real? Whatever. But a lot of guys date older women. That's that's cool. That's on them. And that's fine. But I'm just saying, when you're like in your 20s, like you dating someone in your 40s. But 50s, what's wrong with that? Even 60s. Yeah, okay, but you're. Now, no, that's no. A little bit. Maybe. Kind of <laughs> old. I mean, I'm sorry for the 60 year olds. I apologize. It's not kind of old, but the difference is. Ooh, kind of but loud. no one's saying that you have to um, be serious, you know, in the relationship. Maybe it, it, a lot of times it can turn serious. My only thing is, okay, in your 20s, yay, let's have fun or whatever. But then when the person's ready to really settle down, you're still in your 20s. Like, you're still having fun in life. Okay, but that's you're where you have to them. get an understanding of, hey, listen, this is not to be anything serious this is just a fling you know hang out whatever go out relax but then that person also that person can have kids too the older person will most likely maybe have some kids and now like you're as old as their children i don't know I'm okay with the age difference. If you're like in your 30s or whatever and you're dating no, give, someone older, give a number. that's cool. Give a number. I just kind of feel like in your 30s, 35, I don't, it doesn't really matter. You could date someone 20 years, 10 years. So if you're in your 30s, you're fine with someone dating a 70-year-old. Hey, that do you, boo. Oh, so Be you're happy okay with Because that. you have lived in some way, shape, or form like you've experienced, I, I would hope in your 30s, you've experienced some things. You're a lot more uh you're you're older you're experienced hopefully. man please i know some 30 year olds who be acting childish that is true. I, I said hopefully <laughs> that you are experienced in some way and you've gone through some things that you know i don't that it, i don't know you're just a lot more you're a lot more secure in yourself than in your 20s where you're still finding yourself you're still being young and fun you're still 
doing it up. But maybe you know? that older person, whether it be a he or she, can teach that younger person some things. Sure. Why not? Can they not? I mean, I guess, but it's just, uh, just a little weird. A little weird <laughs> to me. When you're in your 20s dating a 40, 50 year old. So my buddy weird. at work, James, shout out James, uh, he said, um, he said, well, what is, what is that big age difference going to do? Like, what, what is she going to teach him? Uh, uh, how to, uh, <laughs> she, she going to tell him 10 songs. <laughs> she going to tell him 10 songs. He ain't going to know it. He can tell her 10 songs. She ain't going to know saying, it. You're not in the same decade either. So it's like she's talking about but Lil Wayne <laughs> being her, being the best rapper of all time. You're like, what? <laughs> what about, you know, Biggie, Tupac? Um, KRS One, like all of those people, and she's gonna be like, "Who? Big I don't L was know. Dope. Huh? Big L, he was dope. I'm, I'm saying she's not gonna know who you talking about. Why talking you about making heavy this seem like uh, and all that stuff? She ain't got or no he, common sense. They might. I'm not saying she. Okay, a lot of these 20 year olds and whatever you tell them about certain people, like Heavy D and stuff like that, they be like, "Who? I don't Boy, know. Who's Heavy? Who's Heavy D? Boy, bye." I don't know who you talking Is he about. Heavy? Don't speak ill of the dead, okay? Oh, that heavy D. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. But I'm just saying. So, I Give mean, when you're credit. not even in the same decade, it's a little rough and tough there having conversations with a 20 year old. I don't know. I say I mean, date who you want. I mean, my daughter can't date someone <laughs> 20 year difference, you know? Absolutely not. No. Well, you can't have it. You, I can. Way, I can have know. it my way. You know. You can't be doing uh, that. Y'all right. can do what y'all want. <laughs> I mean, they can't. They will not. So bring someone, you know, twenty year different to the house. Nah. Like the whole Diddy and Lori Harvey thing. A lot of people have an issue with that because she is like twenty three and he is like forty, fifty something. I mean, she's the same age as some of his children. Okay. And apparently she kind of dated one of his children or oh, they had a little something going on. Are you on. sure? So, yes. So, it's it's a little weird. I mean, that whole saying ain't no fun if the homies can't have. But... OMG, but that's your son. That's just weird to me. You know, like, they, maybe P. Diddy would be like, who was better? <laughs> OMG, I can't. I mean, she, like I said, she's like in her 20s. She's living her her fun and happy life. Okay, so this is her, her fun school. life. She got like six kids. She but she can put that on. Mama. She can put that on her bucket. That's list. her best friend. <laughs> like she can put why, that on her bucket. Why list. are you putting dating somebody on the bucket list? Like that don't make absolutely a no celebrity. Sense. She is a celebrity herself. Her yeah. parent, her her stepdad. Think is about a celebrity. this: all the people who've been intimate with celebrities before they were celebrities. Yo, you're like oh. I've had that. Whatever. Reggie, we're you know about, I, We're talking about a I'm good just saying, age difference. It doesn't matter. Though. I'm just saying. Just, let the girl live her best life. This is I'm not saying life. don't live your best life, but I'm just saying it's a little weird that you're the same age as, you know, some That's because kids. you think it's a little weird. A lot of people think it's weird because she's kind of young. Okay. He's like in his 40s, 50s. Like, Maybe it's love at first sight. About. So when he's talking about Biggie and Tupac, you know. Wow, she you are know. just she calling might, her dumb. I mean, I'm saying, I'm not You're calling, calling her. I'm not calling she her does dumb. not believe saying, in you, twenty year she's olds. She's just listening. She does to not them believe now. in you, twenty year olds. Oh, don't lie. She's just listening to them now. Like she doesn't grow know? up listening to the music. How do you that not know her time? parents didn't play it when she was growing up? How do you know? Were you in her okay. household? No, I wasn't. So maybe. So you did. don't know. But whatever. Maybe she knows who D Heavy is. Whatever, Heavy D. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I don't know. I just think age age shouldn't matter, but at the same time, you have to be a little strategic with it. Um, when you're older and there's an age gap, I think it's a, it's okay because you're both older, you know, and you're both experienced stuff. But when you're younger, it's it's just like you're young, experience some stuff, and then date an old person. Like okay, an example would be what if she I was watched sixteen Marianne, and some twenty-five year old liked her, but he waited until she was. I would say wait, gosh darn it, well, because no, she's I, you go to jail for that. Well, I, no, I know. I'm <laughs> just saying. Like, look at our parents. Everyone has parents who have a 
huge gap, gap, gap difference, you know. From back in the day. You know. You know. And that's true, but I, I don't know. I mean. You no, know, it's like that. When you were 15, mom wasn't born. You know, it's like, jeez. <laughs> I mean, we have, there are parents like that with that age gap, you know. You're right, and that's the truth. But for me personally, I I don't mind the What's age the gap. What's the oldest until you went? That I have went, and I would go. Both. Um, that I have went, I don't even know. I think most most people have been like close to my age. What's the oldest you? I think done? maybe like thirty when I was like twenty something, and oh. I was like thirty. Should be ashamed like 30, of yourself. 30, 35, and I was probably like 22. Oh my God, who are you? Oh boy, bye. Jeez. <laughs> my God. See, that age range is fine when you're in your 20s dating someone. If you're like 25 and he's like 35 or something, you know. I don't even know who she is. Here he goes. But, Jeez. But yeah. I think I'll be okay with it if the person. need to go to the doctor. Here you are out of control oh, right sorry. now. <laughs> My bad. Jeez. You are out of control right now, but I just think it it just it it all depends, you know. I mean, to I, each its own. Yeah, to um, each your own. Maybe someone watching twenty year old you you got a fifty year old boyfriend or girlfriend, and you right? Know, and don't get offended cool. by what uh, yeah, she's saying. Yeah, don't get offended by me. That's I'm on just your how side. I feel. That's just how I feel. I think if you're in your twenties. Hold off on dating someone older until you're like in your thirties, mid thirties, or something, and then. Wow, they date. could be missing out on a lot. They're they're living their lives. They're going out. They're enjoying. I'm sure they're not missing out on anything. Okay. Wow, that person <laughs> can show them a lot. Wow, you are you just want them to stay sheltered. Stay I don't sheltered. want to, no. I just said in your twenties, go out, enjoy, grow. Go out, enjoy, grow, have fun. And then if you want to go out with someone older, okay, just remember, like, a lot of these older folks have kids. So, when you're in your 20s, are you okay with it is not, being someone... They are not your kids. I'm not you're saying that, but some of them world. are your your age. And it's going to be weird for them to, you know, have their parent dating someone who is their age. A moral of the story, date who you want to date at yeah. whatever age. I mean, of course, your friends will always have a say of, you, you, know, you know, just be careful because you go to jail if you date someone below 16, 17 in New York State. Well, no one's just saying that. I'm just saying because you say date who you want to date at whatever age. You gotta be careful what kind of age. Don't be dating no teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear that, man. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm just saying, at least get through your... You realize, like, a 20 and a 30-year-old date, and that means when he was 20 or she was 20, the uh -huh. person was 10? Yeah, that's... Oh, it's I disgusting. Mean, no, I didn't, but say in the, uh... no, I didn't say that's disgusting. I said that's, I mean, at least it's closer than a 20 and a 50-year-old. Okay. So, I mean, if you are if you end up being 40 and you decide that's to date a 60-year-old, that's you. 20 and 10, ugh. But it's okay when you know twenty and thirty. All right. yeah. Um, because the optics of it, a ten-year-old, like really, right, you can take, go to okay, jail yeah, for that. Yeah, stop. Uh, you go to jail I'll for, kill that. Someone for that. Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story: uh, Live your life, and yeah. then if you're ready to settle, oh, let me take this. Out the age does not matter. If you're ready to settle down, that's cool. As, of course, they have to be of age. Yes, wait until they're of age. At yes. Least. Let us know age. down below what, what uh, was the oldest you've dated or the well, youngest what are your you've dated. What do yeah. you think the age difference Your opinion matters too. They do. So let us know. Uh, so share, subscribe, like, yes. uh, hit the notification button. Yes. We thank you for tuning in to this conversation. Yes, and thank we will you. catch you on the Wednesday. On the next Cartels and Conversations. Podcast coming soon. Yay! So you can watch us or listen to us. You'll have options. <laughs> yes. See you guys later. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye.